do this, but they called the school. I didn't end up even serving a detention. So I got one detention, but I did not end up serving any. So was asking my class rank in high school. Um, I think I was, it's like 15. Um, and we had a graduating class of like, I don't know, 300, 400. So I, I was good. I was never competing for valedictorian. Um, I, I just happened to do well in classes. I spent so much time in other extracurriculars. I never really had time to focus that much in school. Um, I did band, marching band, pep band, theater, jazz choir, regular choir, um, all kinds of national honor society, student council, play basketball. I did a lot. Um, so I, I like just about everybody. Um, someone's begging to be an admin. Um, no, uh, Renee's going to be the only admin so far. I've got it on slow, so it's enough for us to read the comments. And uh, we're, we're going to be okay. Favorite Sonic game. Um, I like Sonic 2. Um, I, I enjoyed Sonic Adventure for like the Dreamcast. Um, but Son Sonic 2, my favorite Sonic game. Um, someone's asking, do I live on the main campus of Illinois and Dark Ray or Mew? I don't really live on the main campus. Um, just a small apartment. Um, Dark Ray or Mew 2? Gotta go Mew 2. Gotta go with the classics. Um, in terms of Pokemon, uh, most decks I play have a Darkrai in them. Um, but uh, in terms of my actual favorite, I like Mewtwo. Someone keeps asking, um, do you read, speak Japanese? No, I actually did try, though. Um, I, I've always been interested in Japanese culture. I had a Japanese friend. She tried teaching me a little bit. Didn't go too far. I, like, learned how to read the syllables. I actually, um, I, I can, a little bit, I can speak Korean. I know how to read the alphabet. I had Korean friends, I was in Taekwondo my whole life, and so um, I learned that a lot. And so, um, Korean it was. Um, some people are saying bye. Goodbye, guys. What instruments did you play? Um, that's a good question. I played the clarinet mainly, but I did a lot of other stuff. Um, did a little bit of percussion. Um, I, I played the uh, trumpet for a little bit, but the clarinet is what I did most in school. Um, recently, I tried to pick up the violin and had trouble with it. I'll try it again after I graduate. That's another thing I can do in my free time. But, um, that's what I did. Um, Misty, May, Dawn, or Iris? You gotta go Misty. You gotta go Misty. Um, in terms of, like, not only she's the most nostalgic, but I think she's just the most well-rounded character. Um, I, I talked a little bit in my, like, censored manga thing about how I really like Misty. She was just this independent woman that was not, like, sexualized for any reason, and she was not afraid to speak her mind. She beat up on the guys. Um... I enjoyed Misty, and I was sad when she left. That was another question. Was, were you sad when they left? Um, what is your dream job? Again, that's a, that's a hard question. I don't really know how to answer it, because there's so many things I want to do with my life. Video games, anti-bullying, YouTube. Um, I don't know what my dream job is. I think I'll find it, though, when, I'm, when I go out looking for it. Did you take a foreign language in high school? Um, I, it was actually a Spanish class where I ended up getting that detention. So yeah, I took Spanish. I never finished enough to meet my requirement here in high school. So I took two years of Spanish. Um, I don't even want to go through the story. Long story short, I had to take six total years of Spanish for me to finally finish my language requirement here at U of I, uh, including my whole life. So I'm not very fond of it either. I, it never stuck. Do you like Half-Life? Yes, love it. Someone said I looked like Gordon Freeman earlier. That's kind of funny. Um, oh, here's a, here's a big question. So many people are asking about the Hopip thing. And this is something I should have answered right away because I actually had a little thing started. Um, people are like, where did the Hopip thing start? Here's where it absolutely started. It was a, uh, a Pokemon scene at the beginning of Prophet episode 13. I'm going to play that for you guys. Right now. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot. All right, let's start that up at the beginning and try that again. <gasps> Hello? Hey, what's up, Josh? It's Robin, man. I'm right outside the place. Oh, I just got. Wait, what? Why? Oh my god, wait. Oh, it's states? Not okay, okay, give me five minutes, man. Just five minutes! I'll be right there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> my deck? Oh my god. My deck? Oh, god. Shoot, I never got Luxray X! That was ah, so nostalgic. God, I... Good night, everybody in Europe has to go. Oh, um, my rares? Flygon? No, that doesn't... 
the hop if thing started it was um not even planned that it would be a hop if i just picked one of one random card turned it backwards and wrote lux ray x over it happened to be hop if um that entire thing was basically ad-libbed me and uh, my friend robbie skeffington a uh, great great guy if you play the pokemon game um we had an amazing time with it um and it's tough because I started that awesome intro and we haven't been able to haven't been able to match it since. It was so epic. Um there like where where do you go from there? So I've tried to have cool intros since, but that was the big one. Everyone remembered it at the time. So the hop up thing starts there. It doesn't really become a, a, a joke yet. But then when I write um when I wrote the theme song, I realized that the word hop it was also in there. Someone actually in the comments wrote like, oh, who wrote who wrote the lyrics to the theme song? That was me. See, that's that's why I gotta make more Pokemon raps, and that's why I have a new song. But uh, no, um, so um, I I wanted to rhyme things with profit, which is the name of the show. Um, someone asked why it's called profit. The prof is short for professor. It's it's like a horrible name. It's like professor. It, it's it's called like profit because you're supposed to like profit from the information, but also like I'm like professoring it. What was I thinking? So um, hopip pretty much rhymed with profit so i noticed hop up was in the theme song hop up happened to be that card there and it just slowly it just stuck as this this one pokemon that was just sabotaging me um i've had a lot of fun with it i think it's really ironic for anybody who's watched my video where i talk about the 1999 pokemon fan fiction um i um happened to have a uh a pop up in there. His name was Hain. Um, watch the video to understand why his name was Hain. But um, even he gave me trouble. So it's, it's weird how hop up is sort of even giving me problems when I was nine years old. Blows my mind. Um, some some people are are just saying um, just nice things about me, and I really appreciate that. Thank you for all, all the support here in the comments. Um, can I give a shout out to Felicity? Shout out to Felicity. Um, I love the card Felicity's Drawing when it was legal in the game. It was a great, great card. Um, oh, advice. And here, some people are asking about YouTube advice. I have a whole YouTube column that I like, kind of haven't touched too much. Um, some people have asked, why is the Jay Witz the channel name? That is because Jay Witz was taken. Um, it was taken, I believe it's somebody's name. His name was just Joe Witz. And he made Jay Witz on everything. So I couldn't take Jay Witz. Um, I was frustrated. So... I wanted to find a way to keep Jay Witz um, without, you know, having to sacrifice anything. I thought, oh, just add a big capitalized the in front of it. That makes sense. So the Jay Witz stuck, and it's the Jay Witz everywhere else. It's funny. Um, similar story actually happened for you guys who are familiar with Game Grumps, YouTuber that I'm a big fan of now. So I asked, well, what YouTubes do you watch now? Game Grumps is probably the one I watch the most. Um, but John Tron, um, he, he wanted the name JonTron, but it was already taken, so that's why he is JonTron Show on YouTube. Do you like Steam slash Fallout New Vegas? I enjoy Fallout. Um, New Vegas, I like, I couldn't finish because I played like 90 hours of Fallout, uh, 3. And so, yeah, Fallout 3. Um, so I like, I had already had so much Fallout, it was too much. People ask him, do you like Luigi's Mansion? Enjoy it. Um, do you play any MMOs? No, um, I, I, I have played MMOs in the past. I used to play a lot of a game called um, Ragnarok Online. It was like this, this uh, KRPG, I guess you call it. It was Korean. Um, played played a MMO called Guns. It was just like G-U-N-Z. These are back in the day. I just don't have time for an MMO now. Um, a lot of people ask me, have, I, have you played Poke MMO? Pokemon MMO. Um, have not played it. 
um, too much. I played a little and I couldn't get into it. I think Pokemon would just make us a huge sack of money if they made an official MMO. It would be awesome, but um, haven't played that. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic goes free to play in like a week, so I'll probably check that out. It's free, right? Um, so I'll check that out. Um, what was your first Pokemon card? Uh, a lot of people have been asking that. I got, um, it was, uh, I'm going to talk about this in the episode. Me and my brother had to split a single pack of cards for our very first pack. My very first card was a Poliwag. Um, I can't remember what else was in that pack. All I know is that he got the rare, which was Holographic Mewtwo, and I got Poliwag. Um, I, all I remember is, like, I used to keep my cards in my wallet, my first pack of cards. We went to Six Flags Great America, which is a uh, amusement park. I actually lost my wallet as a kid um, on a merry-go-round. I was devastated. Even though I had, like, no cards of value in that wallet, they meant a lot to me. And so we called Six Flags the next day. Someone was nice enough to find my wallet and turn it in. So I was able to redeem my wallet, polywag and all. So um, even though I had no valuable cards, nobody took them. So that was like a good moment of humanity. <laughs> Some people saying, I like how you say slash sing um. Okay. Do you use uh, Cerebi? I, um, I don't like read it religiously but i use it when it comes to the game if i want to find out like oh where can i find this item or where can i find this pokemon i use cerebi all the time maryland boca beach i use them all uh but if, if it's a pokemon fan site i use it do you ev train i have in the past i don't play like competitively though it's just i don't have time for it i just want to enjoy my pokemon game um even though i know ev training is better i know you know you can breed and get good ivs and get good pokemon it's not for me um, I'm aware of it. Maybe one day I'll try the competitive game to see what it's like. The, the video game, not the card game. But, um, I just play my games through the way I used to as a kid. Um, I just can't get that deep into it. It's monotonous and awful. <laughs> Do you like Team Fortress? I enjoy it, but never, never played enough of it. Are you going to put this on YouTube? Someone asked. Um, I've said this multiple times, but yes! Yes, it will be on YouTube. Oh! Someone asked me a question a long time ago. I don't even know if I answered it. I'm so sorry. Um... I don't know if I read it off here or not. Someone said, uh, from a big YouTube to a small YouTube, can you give me any tips? Here's some YouTube tips for you guys. And I'd love to talk to this in detail or do a seminar about it or something, but I've learned a lot from YouTube. Some of the big things I've learned is like, uh, one, um, just don't like make content just because you think a lot of people are going to watch it to start. Um, start by trying to make something that you truly want to make. Cause that's the only way you're going to be able to keep making content, make something you enjoy. Try and share something with your life that is unique to you. Um, don't just like watch other people's videos and try and emulate their content. As you guys saw from my first profit video, that's all I was trying to do. Was I was trying to like steal like there's there was a joke from a, an internet series called RB and the Chief, where Master Chief um, he constantly says la 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 la. Uh, I thought it was funny, so I threw that in my video. Like don't don't steal people's jokes because then you're not you're not making good content. Just try your best try and make some original stuff and if you like it you'll keep making it now if you truly are passionate about it i really believe that the fan base will come to you it helps if you know something unique or create some niche in the market um for me nobody nobody had made pokemon trading card game videos yet so that's where i started and that's how i was able to build the first audience and then once my audience got big enough I really felt I was able to share some of the messages that I really wanted to talk about, like the banned episodes and banned cards and things that I had learned since a kid and this great knowledge I had, but I never felt I had enough people to share it with. Whew. Give me a moment. I'm going to grab a drink. I've been talking for about an hour straight now. Give me a moment. Monster Energy uh, Rehab, the official drink of Wits Gaming, if you watch my video game channel. Um, Monster does not advertise with me whatsoever. It's an inside joke that it is my, um, my sponsored drink, but it is so good. Just, just look at this nonsense. Look at this. It tastes like a brisk, 10 calories, 3 grams of sugar for this whole big can, and no carbonation. So it's not even bad for your teeth. Drink it. <laughs> um, more questions. Did you ever catch missing though? Um, yep, I did. Um, I was curious, and guess what? 
it didn't fry my game. Um, I've, I've talked about that in the Missing No video. Uh, Missing No won't ruin your video. There are other glitches that can, but Missing No won't. I caught him. I messed with him. Did his sky attack and stuff. Um, he's, he's not a very good Pokemon, even in those games. So, yeah, um, I did that. Um, some people are, are saying that they're going to bed. As always, um, good night. You can catch the whole thing on YouTube later. What is your Dragon-type Pokemon? I believe that means favorite Dragon-type Pokemon? Um, uh, it's Fly... Is Flygon... Yeah, Flygon's gotta be Dragon, right? They made him Dragon-type in the, uh, in the card game. I hope he's a Dragon-type in the game. Um, I, I enjoy Flygon, um, a lot. But I also, I have a soft spot for Magikarp. Some people are asking how long I'm streaming. I'm not exactly sure. I was thinking um, two hours and we'll see if people are still around and if I can keep going. Um, how did the person Yoshi something for, they got like the face, he's like the meat boy. How did you do that? <laughs> if, if you're listening, Yoshi, I love that. I want to know where he came from. At least it reminds me a lot of, of, of meat boy, the, the little one. Um, some people ask me, do I like Rayquaza? Yeah, I, I enjoy Rayquaza. Um... Am I getting Call of Duty Black Ops 2? At some point. I'm not going to get it right away, though, because I have The Witcher 2, and that'll last me forever. Um, so I'm, I'm going to play that until I'm done, and hopefully not, not have to buy the game when it's $60. But um, this has been bothering me all my life. Do you transfer your last team to a new current generation? Um, I actually don't. I try and play with a new team all the time. Um, I've transferred up to new games if I want to battle with my friends. Don't do it as often now, because I don't have enough people to battle, but, um, yeah, I, I do it sometimes, but not to start my games. Um, Sonas, are you religious? Um, I don't want to get too deep in this, I don't want to offend people. Um, I was at one point very religious, I am currently not at all. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm not going to get too deep into that, but there it is for you guys, we're curious. Um, I already said this in one of your other videos, but, um, something, something, something... I see ads for your Roxio GameCat Pro, and I was thinking of getting it for my brother for Christmas. Do you know any way that he might be able to record off portable devices like a Nintendo DS? Unfortunately, the Roxio does not record off portable devices. Um, I've actually got it right here. And I advertise this because I love it. I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't otherwise. Here's the device. It's small. It's, it fits in the palm of your hand. I use this to record anything off of consoles. Right now, that includes um, like the Borderlands videos that I did on Wits Gaming. Um, right now, Pokemon Coliseum that I do, I record that straight off of Wii, um, and I, I just I play that as a GameCube game on the Wii. Um, so yeah, I I I, I use that to record that. Um, in terms of the DS, it's really hard to capture unless either you you have like some incredible you know a really good computer and recording software and an emulator. Or if you have a uh, specific capture card for either the DS or the 3DS. It's expensive um, one way or either way, I guess, depending on the hardware you need. So it's very hard to capture off portable devices. Someone says, if you like the Beatles, favorite album? I like the Beatles, but I'm not smart enough to know enough Beatles albums. I, the only album I can think of is Abbey Road just because of the, the iconic cover where they're, where they're walking across the street. So I like that one now, but I enjoy the Beatles all around. Um, people keep on asking, like, Pokemon Creepypasta with a question mark. I don't know what that means. I did a video on Creepypasta. Um, I I don't know. What, what, what about? Yeah, where are people getting the Meat Boy? I see it. I see I see two people who have commented now. It's Meat Boy. Um, do you ever have a fan recognize you on the street? Someone has asked me. Um, let me think about that. I don't know if anyone's ever recognized me straight off the street. That said, I haven't gotten around that much. Um, when I was at PAX, um, doing actual, or no, sorry, not PAX. No, no, it was PAX. When I was at uh, Penny Arcade Expo, um, I was in the press line, and I was actually just doing coverage there, and another person in press knew me. I wish I remember your name. But um, someone, someone was like, hey, hey, how are you going? Um, are you Jay Witz? Could I take a picture? And it, it made me really happy. Um... Actually, uh, when I when I won my first regional championships in the Pokemon trading card game, I uh, I got my picture on the front page in the newspaper. Very proud of that. But um, I was at the grocery store during my break at work, and a random mom in a town that I didn't even live in was like, 
are you the Pokemon guy? My my son wants to play. This was before my videos even got big. So someone from the grocery store noticed me from the cover of a newspaper. Um, so that that's funny. I think, um, but if I was at a convention, I think people would notice me, like, like at packs and stuff. Um, especially if the videos get bigger. But, um, yeah, so that, that's one. <laughs> people are, like, adding Meat Boy to their question. Like, it, it, it's, it's actually really hard because it, it actually does make me read them more often. <laughs> Please don't spam my whole thing with only Meat Boy, though. But, um, someone asked me what my thoughts on Left 4 Dead. TV series, I watched most of the first season, and I haven't really got, gotten into it. I don't like the second season as much. Comics, I enjoy. Video games. <laughs> the the Left 4 Dead video game series by Telltale, Ga Tell blah, Telltale Games is one of the best games that's come out this year. Amazing. It's brutal. It's dark. It has... Awesome storytelling, storytelling elements. I love that. That's my favorite thing with The Walking Dead. My favorite iPhone game. Um, that's a tough question. Um, I I got into like the Temple Run craze when everybody did that. There's actually a really really good iPhone game that is built under like the Legend of Zelda Metroid model. It is called Sordigo. Um, I'm going to type that into the comments section just, just so you guys know how to play it. I feel like it is way underrated and it's great. Um, try Sordigo. Apps are great. They're cheap and they're fun and there, there's been some good stuff in there. Um, also, uh, Machinarium is really good. The adventure game. <sighs> Gonna go back to the list here. I'm seeing uh, other stuff. Um, ever want to quit or get tired of making videos? More YouTube advice. Um... I have taken breaks before because of school. A lot of people ask me how I manage things to school. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have to sit down and spend more time in school. Um, so, so yeah. Um, I, uh, sorry, I totally got sidetracked for a moment. Um, I guess uh, it, sometimes you have to take a break. You have to know your limitations. Um, sometimes, you know, I felt burned out on content, but right now I couldn't love it more. Um, and as school is ending, I hopefully I'll love it. But if you ever get tired, um, some nice things to do, change up your content. Try and make new stuff. I was getting tired of making Trading Guardian content all the time because of the expectations there. And that's what brought about Fact of the Day, which is like my biggest thing now. Um, so sometimes you just have to change change up your stuff a little bit. Try and do something new and, and see how it goes. Um, someone said, have you ever got fend up of Pokemon and wanted to take a break? Um, I believe uh, over the third generation, I didn't play it right away. I think that's when Pokemon was like dying as a fad in terms because it was huge. It was like worldwide. Everybody played it when it first came out. By the way, a lot of people ask, when did you start in Pokemon? I started at the very beginning, as soon as it came out. So it's been with me like my whole life, longer than half of my life. I've been doing something with Pokemon, but um, everybody did it. So it started dying down considerably. Um, so I was always, I stopped playing, stopped playing Pokemon as much. Um, I'm going to take a moment. Renee has sent me a uh, message. She opened a box of the new set, Boundaries Crossed, and her video is up. So if you guys ever get bored of my question or want to check out something when I'm done talking, go to uh, Renee Collects on YouTube and watch her box opening. Um, I will tell you guys, she showed me some of the cards beforehand. She opened the best possible box in terms of value cards from Boundaries Crossed. I couldn't believe it. And she only showed me like the first half. She might have she might have pulled good stuff later. Literally, the best box you can get um, of Boundaries Crossed. So so check it out when it's when it's up or later. Um, also, uh, someone someone asked PewDiePie or Tobuscus. Those are other uh, people who do let's plays. It's a tough question for me because I actually don't like either of them. Um, I I I don't know. They it's part of them. They're both people who are very very active in their commentary and i'm not saying like they're bad they have huge audiences so you know people love them um i can't i can't get into them because they they're very very hyper and to me that kind of humor gets old really fast um that but if i had to pick one i like pewdiepie better than tobuscus my, my personal personal opinion but my favorite game grumps if you want to somebody who just plays games and makes commentary that's my favorite um, someone's, I don't call PewDiePie and Toby Let's Players. Ooh, ouch, that's a burn. <laughs> wow. Um, can you give me a shout out, asks Jay Fallon. Well, you just got one. Um, <laughs> are me or Renee better at the Pokemon video game? Um, 
It's tough. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm exclusively better than her or something. She seems to, to be better than me when it comes to catching Pokemon. She catches them right away, and I get, like, horrible luck. All I remember is one time we were both trying to catch a Dalga and Palkia at the same time, and uh, we were about to, like, go to a party or something. She caught her Dalga on, like, the second ball she threw, and I literally went through, like, 50 balls trying to catch this low-HP Dalga. We were we ended up being late to the party because of me, but yeah. So she she seems to get better better stuff with that. Um, some people a lot of people ask me like, hey, when when are you gonna propose to Renee? Are you gonna propose to Renee? Um, a lot of people have been asking me that. Now I I'm not gonna give a time because that like ruins the timing and stuff. But um, you guys curious? Yes, um, Renee is is part of my long term plan for my life. She's amazing. She's always been helpful in all the stuff that I've always wanted to do, whether it be videos or Pokemon, so supportive. She's moderating my comments right now, um, which, which is just great. But no, um, I, I love Renee. I really do. She is a huge part of what keeps this going, and um, I, I do plan to propose to her. I just can't say when, because that ruins, that ruins it. She'll know. Ah... <laughs> uh... Do you like Vulcaloids? I don't know what Vulcaloids are. I'm sorry. Do you have a 3DS? Someone has asked me. Um, yes, I do. I uh, I thought I, I thought I had it at a place where I could just pick it up and show it to you. I, I guess I don't. Yes, I do have a 3DS. I've been uh, at a lack of games um, to play on it because Pokemon just or Nintendo seems to like not want to make a lot of 3DS games. The new Paper Mario just came out though. The Sticker Star game. I want to check it out. I haven't been able to play it yet. But that's, that's like a huge possibility um, over Thanksgiving break or something soon. What do you think of the 3DS? I like it as a system, but... And the, this is more game rant stuff I'll say for Woods Gaming. They don't support it enough. They need to support it more. Um, and shout out for huh, the Jay Wits fan. Well, how can I not give that a shout out? I just noticed that there. Um, people are saying, nice beats. How are the beats? I think that they're good. I would never buy Beats full price. I'm someone who loves technology, and I will admit, I do spend a bit more on technology than the average person, but I got these on Craigslist for, like, half of what they normally are. So, um, I, I think they're great headphones, but I don't think they're $300 headphones. Um, I'm gonna check my numbers. 483 or, uh, that are that are watching right now. That's amazing. Like, 500 people. Thank you so much, everybody, for sticking around and watching. Uh, really, really love it, and I'm going to keep trying to answer your questions. I thought I was going to go off this list to the side, but you guys are just doing all the work for me right here in this stream. So have you planned a rap for tonight? Um, no. I wish I had, like, a preview to show you of the new song I want to make soon, though. Don't quite have it yet. I, I don't even know if I want to give away the title yet, but, um, it's coming. There is a song coming. I just need to find a way to make a good way for, um, I want to make a good music video. I can make the song easy, but I, I want to make a good video, too, so that's going to take a little bit more time. But, um, favorite Pokemon rival? That's a good question. It's very hard not to like Gary as the best rival, because he's more, like, he's constantly antagonizing you, you know, um, He's always, like, acting like he's better than you. Um, I, I feel like he's actually a really great rival, especially in the uh, the anime, because Ash loses to him occasionally. Like, he literally is, like, the Trump. You know, um, he's he's Gary... You guys know the meme. It's like Gary effing Oak. I love that, by the way. But it, Gary Gary's great. He has the attitude. Now, I also do like the uh, the second guy. Um, I don't know what you call him. Silver? What do you, what do you call the guy in gold and silver? Um... I like that guy because he just flat out steals his starter. He just breaks into Elm's lab and takes it. He's not even like an official trainer. He just takes it. Um, and also, um, he's the son of an important crime leader. Um, oh, that, that's, not, that's not even a surprise anymore. He's also, it later turns out that he's, he's Giovanni's son and um, harbors resentment towards him. I think that that's kind of cool too. Saddest Pokemon moment. Everybody points to that episode where, like, Ash gives Pikachu back to the Pikachu forest. Or or the episode where Ash is like, bye-bye, Butterfree. Those are, like, the big moments where, like, Ash has to give up a Pokemon. Um, I can't think of any, like, sad moments off the top of my head. Those are, those are sad. Those are sad episodes. I remembered them as a kid. I had friends that, like, would cry at that episode. I was an emotional kid and I didn't cry. But, um, th those are, those are... The ones that I remember. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
do. Who influenced you to rap? And would you ever consider doing a feature? Um, it's a good question. I, I was influenced by a lot. Um, it's weird because it, there's two very different sides. I was in, influenced by like just like mainstream music. I always liked fast lyrics and like a punchy bass and stuff. Um, so I, I liked just music when I was in the mainstream. Eminem is obviously a big influence um, when he became big and taboo and like fourth grade. He was, but but I always listen to him. Most people listen to him. They're like, oh, look at those bad words that he says. Now it's like not even a big deal. But at the time it was a big deal. But to me, I was like, well, I don't care about the bad words that he says. He's actually, what he's saying is really clever and cool. So I, I really enjoyed that. But I also listen to a lot of like old school rap. Um, stuff like, like Dougie Fresh and um, the Beastie Boys. And um, I wish I could think of more off the top of my head. But I'm listening to those guys. Um, in terms of beatboxing, I was heavily influenced by the beginners of beatbox, uh, Kenny Muhammad and Razel. Um, Razel, in particular, if you've ever played SSX Tricky, um, he's that guy that narrates the entire game as you play. He's like, oh, that's a sweet, funky dump maneuver! And, and all kinds of nonsense like that. Like, Call your mom in a room and show her how great you are. I don't know. He, he just says nonsense like that. But um, he, he influenced me to beatboxing. And also, um, beatboxing while singing at the same time is a big thing. Um, he did, had this routine called If Your Mother Only Knew. And um, I've tried hard to emulate that. I've, I've gotten a lot better over the years. Um, here's how it goes. I'm not going to make this a beatbox stream, but I, I think it's cool. I actually going to grab something to drink. The idea is you sing the chorus of song and beatbox at the same time. It's an illusion. It's not really at the same time, but it's close. It's like... If your mother only knew... I'd love to beatbox more. That's another thing I'd love to do on YouTube, but if I had more time. But it's something that I love uh, adding to other stuff. So I'm saying, I love SSX Tricky. Love it, love it. People ask, have you played Super Smash Bros. Brawl? What kind of question is that? I've got the disc right here. Uh, it actually should be in a case. I was playing it with my friend Carver the other day. Smash Bros. I played a lot. Competitively. Everything. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't... So many people are like, Oh, can I, can I hear more beatboxing? Can I hear more beatboxing? Okay. I will do, I will do, I will do one more. Um, this is a... Since I talked about Razel, here's a thing that I learned from Kenny Muhammad. It was called the wind technique, another routine that I really enjoy. And it goes a little bit like this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just messing with it. Um, I, I, I'm not even going to pull any punches. I'm a modest person, but I know I'm a good beatboxer. Um, something I, I would like to do more. I used to compete. Um, I, I've talked to some very, very famous beatboxers before. Love it. Absolutely love it. It, it is so good. Um, let's see what more people ask. I just got, for some reason, it's like all of a sudden you beatbox and the comments explode. <laughs> that was really good. So many people ask for a shout out. For everyone who just asked for a shout out, you just got a shout out. I can't, I can't do it for everybody though. It would get monotonous. Um, somebody asked, oh, this, that's a, oh, someone asked, um, do you just rap or do you sing as well? Um, I do sing. I was in choir, a jazz choir. Um, I love singing as well as as beatboxing i'm not going to say i'm the best singer ever but i i'm not bad i can keep a tune which is better than the average person so i, I there is going to be singing in the um in the song that i have planned for pokemon that i keep talking about i just want to do it um for anybody who actually has watched the um i have a song slash rap that i did and that's the reason i won the game spot my first e3 contest which is how i got to go to e3 um if you haven't seen it just search game spot my first E3, um, and you should be able to find my video. Um, 
it, it, it was just a simple, simple chorus. I wanna go to E3. And then the back was all like, E, 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 E. That's not even a very good example of me singing. But um, I, I, that like song was one of the reasons I was even able to get deeper into this whole game stuff. So it's, it's good. <laughs> Someone said thanks for the shout out. I'm you're you are welcome, Mind Geek 101, um, for appreciating the fact that I could not name every name. Because of that, you get named. <laughs> um, your favorite candy to gain world domination. What a wonderful question. Now, if I had to pick a favorite candy, it's. Uh, I, I go with like real standard stuff like straight favorite and I love candy. I've got a sweet tooth I like Skittles for my fruity candy and I like Butterfinger for my chocolate candy But if I gotta pick one To rule the world What candy can help me rule the world? World domination I think Snickers would help me rule the world. It's popular and People require Snickers. Have you seen the commercials? People are like freaking out because they're hungry because they haven't eaten a Snickers. So they're like turning into real whiny grandmas and stuff. If I held the world's Snickers population, everyone would be grumpy and they'd have to go through me. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I had fun with that. Um, huge ambition. Actually, dream job. One, one of my big things I still want to do in my life. I want to voice act. I want to do voice acting so badly it's not even funny. I want to do voice acting either in a video game or a TV show. I do it for free, um, especially Pokemon. If you work for Pokemon, one of the people, I will do a voice in the anime or a future Pokemon game for free if you want a voice. No, but, um, I love voice acting. I would love to do that in something in the future or in my own stuff at some point. Please answer. It's wrote in parentheses. What game are you most excited to see later this year or next year? Well, that's a good question. Um, Bioshock Infinite is the big one. Um, it was my no most anticipated game of this year, and it got pushed next year. So, um, Bioshock, just get out, just come out already. Um, th those two Wii U games I talked about, um, Pikmin 3 and Rayman Legends, need them, need them. And uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, they just announced that it's going to be like the biggest game ever, like literally size-wise. I don't even know if I can contain it. I'm excited for that. So if you voiced anyone in the Pokemon anime, I'd watch it again. I should make like a petition or something sometime in the future. That would be fun. People are saying, do an impression. That's, that's tough. Um, on the spot. There's there's like all the ones that I always normally do. Um, I'll actually, I, I'll do Kermit the Frog. Just just his phrase. I still get comments. I made a video about most overgotten comments that I get. People still say I sound like Kermit the Frog. And I feel like I sound nothing like him. But I can sound like him if I want to. Kermit the Frog here. That's how Kermit the Frog sounds. But... But not me! <laughs> that's that's Kermit the Frog. Who else can I do? I'm, I'm supposed to be good at this, but... When it's, it's on the top of your head, it's like... Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, I'm, I'm pretty good at Mar... Hello! It's -a me, a Mario! Wah! Woohoo! Yippee! I'm Wario! Ah, ah, wanna win! And then Waluigi's all like... Wah, Waluigi! Wah! I don't know. I don't know. I'm... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll work more. Someone's like, if I see you, could I ask for an autograph? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I, I probably signed like 500 things at Nationals, the last Nationals I went to. If you are near me and would love an autograph, I am honored. It is like my pleasure to sign something for you because I can't believe that I'm important enough in your life where you want me to sign something. Plus, every time I sign something, I make a little smiley face with a Pokemon hat and I put a Pokeball under it. Um, so, so that's a plus. No, I love signing stuff. What's your favorite retro game? That's a tough question. Oh, I uh, don't even get me started. I, I wish I could keep like talking about this, but when you get when you talk to me about retro gaming, I have played so much it's not even funny. Super Mario World, um, The Legend of Zelda, um, A Link to the Past, and uh, Super Metroid are like some of my real favorites. Um, on the Sega Genesis, Gunstar Heroes. Streets of Rage uh, 2 and, and 3 a little bit. Those are big. Um, there was one more. I played a lot of Mortal Kombat as a kid. There's any, I feel like I'm missing. Sid Meier's Pirates. There's too many too many retro games I could go forever. Castlevania fan. Yep. I, I didn't play Castlevania as a kid, though. I played it 
like retroactively. Um, love it. Still love it, but your videos are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Atari 2600 or 5200. I, um, I, I know more 2600 games. Obviously the 5200 is like a better system, but 2600 is, is the classic. It really opened up video games and consoles for the market. It almost crashed it too, but it really, really like stuff couldn't exist without the way the Atari was able to mass market. Favorite Pokemon and Naruto character. Well, I've already, I've already, oh, favorite Pokemon trading card game set and Naruto character. You get a double, double answer, quick stride. Um, my favorite Pokemon trading card game set is Stormfront. Um, it, not only was it one of the first sets that I bought, like, in mass, because I was getting into the card game. Those were the city championships where I was first making competitive decks. But that set has a dumb, it's just a dumb amount of playable cards in it. They don't make sets like that anymore where just everything is good. I had a Sableye, which, like, actually was one of the reasons I went to Worlds later. Um, Reggie Gigas helped me win things. It had Gyarados, which did so well at Worlds. It had Machamp, Gengar, Dusknoir. Abomus, no. I could talk about this set forever. It was so good. So um, Stormfront, so good. Um, favorite Naruto character. I I think I I think I can answer this. There are a lot of Naruto characters that I like. I think starting with um, what I first liked Kakashi the best in terms of just like oh he's cool. He's got like a real cool design. My favorite character now though is uh, Rock Lee because he's re well and his dad. Um, guy what a weird name just guy but um i like i like them because they are not flashy all they do is just straight like physical combat and they're total goofs but they like are actually really great fighters so i i like them what canceled game series do you think needs a sequel i got this good and evil uh beyond good and evil 2 needs to come out um Ubisoft has been flirting with that for years and making me angry. That is an amazing game that deserves a sequel. Also Psychonauts, which is a game that came around the same time. Um, Psychonauts 2. Those are games that really need sequels that were underappreciated for their time, but have excellent storytelling and really are something that the video game community could use a lot more of. Um, do you play any trading card game apart from Pokemon? Oh, I've, I've already talked about that. Yep, I play everything. Um... I am in choir. Any tips? Please answer. Um, I think a big thing in choir is, and my teacher didn't do enough of this, but if you have a friend that plays piano um, or know how to work with like notation software, usually that first one's big, take your part to somebody so you can learn the notes of the stuff that you sing. I think it's real easy to um, not sing your part and just want to sing the melody. Um, most people, they don't want to sing, you know, like, oh, well, it's not the melody. I, I don't want to sing these extra notes. But that's what makes choir good, is if you get full chords. And I think most choirs, they don't work hard enough on teaching people how to complete those chords. So find a friend with a, with a piano or a voice coach or anything, and try and learn your alternate parts, even if you're not singing the melody all the time, because it makes the so song sound better. Um, which of Ash's Pokemon is your favorite? Um, that's a good question. I feel like there's one that was supposed to jump out at me right away. Oh, I know my favorite. My favorite is Ash's Krabby. Uh, there's an impression I can do. So when I, actually, another question. People are like, "What's what's your favorite? Um, or uh, what, what Pokemon can you do a good good impression of?" I love Ash's Krabby because of the ridiculous sound that he makes. A lot of Pokemon they say their own name. You know, Pikachu. You know, stuff like that. Krabby. He goes. I, I like. It's so hard to do this without laughing. You. Cookie, cookie. <laughs> Oh, I, there's this excellent video um, that, like, just just there's an episode where he's fighting in, like, the Pokemon Championships that me and Renee watched, because she didn't believe me. She didn't believe me when I said that that's the sound he makes. And um, Krabby's, like, creeping up on this, like, sea or something, and he goes, like, cookie, 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 cookie. <laughs> and it's, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Renee, Renee is coming. I just lolled so hard. I knew she'd love that. I, I will, like, post that video in the description if I remember, because Krabby is just, just the best. Um, goodbye for the people that have to go. Some people sing by. Favorite indie games. We've got a picture of a creeper and Meat Boy. Indie games. Another thing. 
love so much. Love indie games so much. Um, Spel I, I think I have to go with Spelunky. Um, it, I love Spelunky. I love what it does. Creates an old school feel. It's challenging but fair. It's really well designed. And it's just genuinely fun and frustrating at the same time. Spelunky is my favorite, but I love Super Meat Boy, The Binding of Isaac, um, even some older older indie games I'm trying to think of off the top of my head. And I can't for some reason. They'll come back to me. But I play, a, I, like I said, I play every video game. People have asked about Minecraft, talk about that, and Terraria. Um, games, I've played them, I've enjoyed them, but I can't get into them. Um, my little cousin Luke plays a lot. He played a lot of Terraria. He, he likes that a lot. So I just made a comment. Jay Witson and Renee, best poke, oh, best poke tubers. That's, that's a poke buddies. Well, thank you. I, I'm glad you guys appreciate our content. Um, I think it's awesome that Renee has been able to make her own videos and get a huge following. Um, and at the same time, it's just awesome that we can both enjoy something and have this passion. Um, it's it's great. And um, it's it's just great that all I have to do is make make a impression of Krabby and she starts laughing. So. <laughs> Um, people ask me about Barack Obama re-elected. Someone asked me about politics, too. I, I will be completely honest. I am not as involved in politics as I should be. Um, so I, I don't really, like... I, I hate saying I don't care, but it's not that I don't care. It's that I hate our system so much that it really discourages me. I think that it should be a popular vote for elections. I don't understand the Electoral College. I don't like the whole um, end pass first post thing. Um... I can't get into politics that much, um, just because I, I don't have like a passion for it. I want to get more into local politics, where I feel that people actually can make choices with senators and, and counselors and stuff. Um, if I had to have voted for some, I, I liked Ron Paul personally, but there's there's no space for a third party right now. So there's there's a lot of I, I don't know. I don't I don't dislike Obama either. Um, I really don't. Um, I don't even I don't dislike Romney that much. Really, don't, I don't think like they're evil or whatever. But I don't think either of them are the best choice. I'll never talk about politics again, though. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. Let's talk some Pokemon. I'm going to read some Pokemon question. Um, someone says, do you still have any Jay Wits cards? Just like one of each. Um, people ask, I used to give them out as promos. It was great, but then my channel got too big where there was just too many. I printed out 200 Jay Wits promo cards, went to a Nationals. I gave them all away in, like, the first day right away i was like i couldn't believe it at the time like wow 200 people want a card from me now i have 77 000 subscribers it doesn't even make sense it doesn't make sense guys <laughs> but uh, thanks so much for watching my content um maybe someday I'll, I'll do cards again but i'll have to make it a giveaway i can't just give them all out because there's just too many people that want them oh somebody someone keeps asking me about animal crossing love animal crossing i love it so much there's a website that I listen to that will play the uh, the Animal Crossing song of what time it actually is um, in just like an infinite loop. It's great. So you make the Animal Crossing music like your own life music. I, I listen to that a lot when I'm studying and stuff. Love Animal Crossing. They have recently finally announced the um, the 3DS Animal Crossing, and that needs to come. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, someone asked, what is that web page? I have it saved in my uh, bookmarks on Chrome. Let me let me copy paste that. It's actually, it's a real simple URL. For those of you guys who want to listen to Animal Crossing for your entire life, go there. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, some of the 3DS Majora's Mask. Um, I, I like Majora's Mask. I'm extremely nostalgic to it. I think it's a great game, but I would prefer that they make an original 3D Zelda first before remaking an old one. Um, I, I, I want them to make new games rather than remaking old ones. And that's a philosophy that extends to Pokemon too. Um, like I said, Generation 2. My favorite, favorite generation. Um, I was wanting a remake forever. HeartGold Soul Silver was finally announced. I went crazy. I finally got it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the Pope Walker, but by the time I was done, I was like, hmm, this is nostalgic, but I feel like I just played another version of Diamond and Pearl. And um, that's kind of how I felt when I played Black, because it's on the same system. It's very similar. And so I would prefer that Pokemon and 
it, you can't blame them. They make so much money. People are going to buy the remakes. People are dying for a Ruby and Sapphire remake right now. I don't want remakes. I want new games and new directions. Now, I'm not the majority on this, I'm sure, but that's just what I want. Um, I, I would really, really like them to, to continue to work on that. Um, um, someone said, I've been asking this for nearly two hours now. Oh, God, I'm trying to, I'll highlight your thing. Oh, you're losing me. It's this green text, Sibons. It's, Jay, what's your one of my favorite poke tubers? I've been asking for nearly two hours. Can you, what's your favorite element? I've said, um, electric is my favorite from the video game, trading card game. Oh, uh, from the video game, um, lightning. From the trading card game, I like dark type Pokemon most of the time. From the periodic table. Uh, I don't know. I, I like aluminum because I like the pronunciation in British. It's like aluminium. I don't know. We'll go with that. I will stay on the stream all night. I hope that Sivan's your your curiosity has finally been piqued. I, I hope you're happy. I finally got that. Um, favorite gym leader. Favorite layout. Oh, uh, someone asked me that. That that's one of my saved over here. My favorite gym leader. Like I said, I liked Lieutenant Surge. I loved the idea that like he was like, I zap my opponents in electricity during the war. It blows my mind that there was actually a war in Pokemon. It's kind of cool. No, um. So I like that. Um, my favorite gym? I like Koga's gym with the invisible walls. That was that was cool. Um, there's also some like real tricky ice gyms in the later games, like Diamond and Pearl and stuff. I, I like the puzzles in those, but my favorite I, I just the invisible walls thing. It was it was so so clever. Where did you get your shirt? People keep asking me. Sharkrobot.com. It's as simple as that. Sharkrobot.com. Um, you can get it. It, it. It's also available on like some other sites too, but that's where I got it. I love this shirt. If you wear it, people always commend you for it. Like it's, it's, if I wear this to a Pokemon event, people are like, oh, I love that shirt. Um, I have another shirt I, I was thinking about wearing, but I couldn't find it. I think I left it at home. It looks like the Playboy Bunny, but it's a, a Pikachu face. Uh, people always give me positive compliments for that shirt. Um, I don't always like graphic tees, but some of my favorites. Um, someone has basically just just loaded my chat with a thousand faces and just said manga a bunch of times. Um, early in the stream, I talked about my favorite manga. Um, oh, maybe they're talking about the Pokemon manga behind me. There is a lot of it. I will give that away um, at some point. Thinking maybe... I don't know. Let's let's put a time on that. I'll say 8.15. My 8.15. So in half an hour, I will let you guys know who won the manga that I'm giving away. Just to remind you guys... and. Um, yep, giving away box sets. I will send you guys a YouTube message if you want. I'll let you know if you either want the original series or the gold and silver one. Um, I'd show the gold and silver box, but it's actually propping up one of the boxes back there. <laughs> what is your favorite dinosaur? That's a great question. I like Brontosaurus. I was always a tall kid. That's the tall dinosaur. Um, is it tough? No, but I like the Brontosaurus. Um, are you planning on doing more profit and Pokemon trading card game online videos? Yes and yes. Um, I have a boundaries cross set review video that I, I really want to get up either this weekend or next week at some point. Um, right now I'm trying to keep my profit content just to, tr to the set releases just because I'm pressed for time. I'd like to do a little bit more once I'm finally out, um, graduated. So yeah, I plan on doing more of that. Pokemon trading card game online, I want to play a ton. The other problem is Boundaries Cross just came out, so I need to redeem stuff so I can get new decks. Um, if you play Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and have extra stuff, I am just Jay Wits with no hyphen and no the in front of it. If you want to like trade me cards or help help the show out, or if you collect cards and have code cards and don't know what to do with them, I would gladly take them because so many people want trading card game content, and um, I would love to get people all the decks that they can. So if you're not using them and just want to give them somewhere. I would be very gracious for it, um, but yeah, um, I'm obviously going to buy more codes and see what I can do and see what I can trade, but I, I'd like to get that as soon as possible, because my new PC, all about recording and video editing. People keep on, um, have any suggestions for Generation 6? None really. I don't know enough about, the, they're kind of hard. Once, once you've written, you know, 650 Pokemon, where do you go from there? You know, how, how do you create original Pokemon that... People will always like. That's hard. I don't have a good answer, unfortunately. Um, I would like to see 
Pokemon, um, I'd like to see Pokemon with voice acting. I'd like to see story-driven Pokemon. Um, I'd like to see anything in Pokemon that can break from the traditional format. Um, anything that can just challenge things. I really want to see a console adventure again, like in Coliseum. I think they could do great things on the Wii U. You'd have your, the Wii U tablet controller. You touch your attacks. They've got to have thought of that, at least at some point. They, they, they're mm, so much potential. <laughs> I wish they... Uh, someone says, how will you contact the winners? I will send you a message on YouTube. Um on your YouTube account that you commented on my video with. What are the specs of your computer? Someone has asked. Um, I, I'm very proud of this computer. It's very, in my opinion, very good. Um, this computer, it has a, it's a, a 3.8 gigahertz i7 Intel processor. Um, it has a 32 gigabytes of RAM which is an absurd amount. I only use that for video rendering. You don't, you don't need 32 gigs of RAM for like anything else. Um, I have uh, two drives. It boots off a solid state and I have a hard drive on the side. Um, really, really enjoy. Um, I'm also running not one, but two uh, Radeon HD 7000s as my graphics processing. So um, it's it's a heavy machine it does everything but it's all for video editing and that's I, I took the step up because I really want to take my video editing to the professional level so um, I don't recommend you you just buy one of those recreationally but if you have friends that know how to build a computer ask ask your friends do what you can you'll save so much money it's not even funny um put it together yourself don't buy a high spec computer y you can get like let me put it this way. My computer with those amazing specs still costs less than what you would pay for the new MacBook Pro. So find someone that knows how to build computers. You'll save so much money. You'll be happy in the end. I've asked for a very long time. Who is your favorite or favorite Let's Player? Um, that's that's going to be Game Grumps by far. Um, one Speed Yoshi. I've, I've talked about that before. I, I've liked those guys for a long time. I love their like total chillax approach to playing. They're not serious, but I, I just find them to be funny people. Yeah, they're, they're a little goofy. They're not everybody's thing I could imagine, but uh, I think they're funny. People say, I have about nine code cards if you want them, Josh. If, if you have code cards, shoot me a message on YouTube or shoot me an email. Um, I, would, I would love to just help people out by getting the best content videos I can out. When did you start getting popular? Oh, um, any, okay, oh, that's a good question. Um, I, it depends on what you would say is popular. I thought I was popular when the videos first started. Um, I got like a couple hundred right away because the videos were new. Built my way up. A thousand was a really big deal. Um, then it, it sort of like, it was like slow but constant. Um, I, it's funny because I made the fact of the day content um, over like a summer. I made like a handful of fact of the days all in a row. They weren't that big when I first made them. Um, the YouTube like... I'm, I built my way up to about 10,000 subscribers, I would say, um, just by making content that people liked with, with the trading card game and stuff. But there was an explosion in, like, March of this year. YouTube changed their formula to, like, I don't, I don't know what they did, but they made certain videos more watchable in the... Watch this here in the corner. <sighs> Things will cr Everything with the words fact of the day on it were all of a sudden huge, especially the Pokemon Band episodes video. It's funny because I made that video um, and I, I thought, this is great. No one has video content of the Pokemon uh, banned episodes. I've got the first one. People will love this. And it was stuck at like 15,000 views for months, months and months. And I, was, I wasn't disappointed because 15,000 is good. I thought it was going to go viral. Then this one, this March and then the summer, it goes out of control. And then right as it about hits its first million, Correct.com linked to the article, so it it went out it went out of control after that. Um, it is almost at five million views now, which is, which is incredible. Um, that is the biggest thing that brings new people to the show, so I'm happy. I look back at the video and yeah, there are better editing things I could have done, but I'm still proud of it. People ask me my most video I'm most proud of. I'm proud of that because I was able to assemble it at all. It took me a long time to find all that footage. I'm very proud of it. It's also what brings new people to the channel she makes me happy but i am very proud of the censored pokemon manga video that i just made i feel like i finished that i was like it's a good video i'm proud of it um do you believe in magic 
Someone just asked. No. <laughs> I'm such a bad person. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm one of those people that's like not, I, I don't believe in anything para paranormal at all. Um, I'm a very science-driven man, even though I hate like math and stuff. Just like the way I understand the world around us. I don't believe in magic, but I do believe that there are, like playing Pokemon or, you know, ha having a great friendship or something. There's magic in that. It's like emotional greatness, but not like me shooting lightning. You kidding me? If there was real magic, I'd be shooting lightning everywhere and flying and stuff. But I can't. <laughs> Do you like paranormal activity? No, I don't. Um, I, I don't know. Like, especially now that there's like full... Here's the thing. The first paranormal activity I respected because they were able to get success out of a low-budget film. Um, good for them. I, but the problem is, there's like four of them now, so they just keep trying to cash in on it. So I don't, no, I, I'm not a very big fan of it. Um, who is your childhood hero? That's a good question. Who did I look up to when I was a kid? Um, I don't know. I always looked up to Shaquille O'Neal because he was a big basketball player and he was always, for the most part, nice and funny. I still like him now. Um, I looked up, like, in, like, but I wasn't like, when I grow up, I want to be Shaq. I just liked Shaq. Um, like, really young, I, 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 was, I was a big fan of Steve from Blue's Clues. Um, I don't know. I, I was inspired by him. Uh, Mr. Rogers, if you want to go farther back. He was like, he was my childhood hero. Mr. Rogers. It, that's my answer. Sort of worked my way there. He's got to be everyone's childhood hero that had him in their childhood. What do you think about Pokemon Conquest? I love Pokemon Conquest. Um, I played it all the way through. Combined two of my favorite things, um, like Advanced Wars Tactics style gameplay and Pokemon. There are annoying aspects to that game. The whole like city management where you have to move Pokemon area to area bothers me. It's like it's tedious, but the gameplay is I love it. I need to drink again because I've been talking for like another hour straight. My problem is I have like like I never like finish cans. I have like two half cans drunk. I need to fix that. Epic drink. <clears throat> Favorite form of rotum. I have a hard question. There the I guess I like all the Rotoms. The first one that came to mind was the Mo Rotom, the one that's a lawnmower. So I guess that. But I, I like a lot of the Rotoms. I don't know. The lawnmower one came to, came to mind first. Epic drinks for Epic Man. <laughs> that sounds like, that sounds like a commercial. If you're already. <laughs> See if I can do this. Hold a straight face. Monster rehab. Epic drinks for an Epic Man. I actually can't even sustain my low voice so much. I've been talking so much straight. When did you first read the Pokemon manga? Um, I, I read them when I was a kid, when they came out. Um, late 90s. Um, so I was, I was able to read them right away. Um, just recently, I've been getting into the gold and silver ones that I did not read right away. But I, I read them as a kid. Um, so the, the, I was one of the lucky few, too. Most kids did not read this manga right away. Um, and you're missing out. Like I said, if you don't win the manga, get them. They're... They're, like, one of the best things that the series has to offer. I'm not even kidding. Um, you will be surprised. Where can I find the English version of the Pokemon Adventures manga? Um, go on Amazon.com and just search Pokemon Adventures manga. The, the box sets are there. They were on sale last I checked. They were, like, 30 bucks each. And if you have Amazon Prime or Amazon Student, it ships for free. I got them both right away. least favorite game hmm that's an interesting question as a kid my least favorite game and this is just like something for me robocop 3 i thought was a real crappy game um i owned it it's bad i'll do it on wits gaming at some point it was like the first game where i realized that not all games were good um you know as a kid like you usually just play whatever you have that was the first game that i played and that's on the sega genesis i was like robocop 3 is not a good game i don't like it so that's, that, that's, that's my answer. Favorite Pokemon Town? Arceus Van asks. Um, uh, 
That's a hard question, too. There's a lot of good towns. I like... Um, I, I like, like, the Cinnabar Island and the mansion dynamic. That's, like, one of my favorite um, things that, like like sort of like this hidden plot the creation of Mewtwo and stuff I really enjoyed that but like in terms of gameplay how can you not like sell it on you go to sell it on and it's like there's all the shops and stuff that that's always good opinions and feelings on Pokemon live um that's uh Giovanni is real that's a great name um here's my thing about Pokemon live are, are you talking about the original I'm gonna assume you're talking about the original um the, the original thing that played, the live show. I don't think it was on ice, but it was like one of those things. It was like Disney on ice. Um, it's cheesy. I always wanted to go to it as a kid, but we, we could never like afford it or go to it. Um, it's not great, but you know what? I have a fondness for the four kids' original Pokemon songs. Somebody asked me, like, do you like the Pokemon soundtrack? What are your favorite songs? <sighs> I gotta be honest here. Heart to heart. Sometimes I still listen to To Be A Master. It's spell. I'll, I'll type it in. It's like the number two, letter B, letter A, master. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I love that song. I, those songs you talking about, it's so bad. Um, i trying to think. That, that song is selfie. To be a master, Pokemon master, I will be striving. With the latest chapter, Pokeball Go. Go, <laughs> everybody say it, and then it's like children are like na na na. I like that song. I think my favorite original song, um, as a kid at least, I guess, according to my aunt, who used to sing it all the time. We're on the road to Viridian City. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, someone, someone just noticed. I tend to listen on the road to the Viridian City. That's so funny. Um, there was another one out of those too that I liked a lot, but those are oh. My favorite now, just remembered, Renee's going to, like, roll her eyes when she hears this, because I used to sing it for a long time. Um, what kind of Pokemon are you? How do you do the things you do? Share with me your secrets deep inside. <laughs> kind of Pokemon are you? Are you loyal through and through? Do you have a heart that's true? What kind? Of, she says she's lolling no more. What kind of Pokemon are you?